The sky above the Negev desert shimmers with heat, but somewhere beyond the horizon, a faint beam of invisible light cuts through the air. In an instant, a drone thousands of feet away ignites and disintegrates before it ever reaches Israeli airspace. This is not a scene from a science fiction movie. Israel has officially deployed its laser defense system, the Iron Beam, and it's rewriting the rules of modern warfare. For decades, humanity relied on missiles and metal to intercept incoming threats, but Israel has turned light itself into a weapon. The implications are staggering. This system doesn't just represent technological progress, it represents a strategic leap that could redefine how nations defend their skies. From the outside, the iron beam looks deceptively simple. Mounted on a robust military truck, it carries an emitter that can swivel, track, and fire within seconds. Unlike traditional interceptors that require ammunition, this weapon fires pure energy, an invisible beam traveling at the speed of light. No explosions, no debris, no smoke trails, just precision silence and devastating accuracy. Engineers designed it to function in the harshest conditions. From the deserts of the south to the northern borders near Lebanon, Every inch of its structure is optimized for mobility and endurance. It's a self-contained fortress capable of moving wherever the battlefield demands. Inside, the control station hums with digital life. Large touchscreens glow with real-time tracking data, identifying, locking, and neutralizing incoming threats in milliseconds. Operators sit behind adaptive AI interfaces that process information faster than any human could react. A single operator can monitor multiple targets simultaneously while the onboard systems calculate trajectory, distance, and energy levels. Everything about this setup speaks to a new era of warfare where speed and intelligence replace brute force. Israel's engineers didn't just build a defense system, they created a thinking machine capable of learning and adapting to complex combat environments. When it comes to performance, the numbers are almost unbelievable. The iron beam uses a 100 kilowatt laser that can destroy targets up to 10 kilometers away. Whether it's a mortar shell, a drone, or a short range rocket, the system locks on and melts the threat mid air within seconds. No interceptor missiles, no reload time, the cost of each shot, just a few dollars of electricity. Compare that to the tens of thousands of dollars required to launch a single Iron Dome missile, and you begin to understand why militaries around the world are watching Israel's progress so closely. The Iron Beam doesn't only save lives, it saves billions. Its efficiency could make missile-based defenses obsolete within a decade. Another crucial aspect is safety. Laser systems might sound dangerous, but the Iron Beam incorporates multiple layers of security. AI threat recognition ensures it only fires when a confirmed hostile target is detected, minimizing accidental engagements. The beam's energy is carefully regulated to prevent overheating, and thermal sensors constantly monitor every component. If any part exceeds its safety threshold, the system automatically cools or shuts down before damage can occur. Israel's defense engineers know that reliability is everything in combat. One malfunction can mean the difference between protection and disaster. They've built the iron beam to be fail safe, resilient, and trustworthy even under relentless operational pressure. What sets the iron beam apart? Beyond its power is its sustainability. Traditional missile systems rely on physical stockpiles, warheads, propellants, and explosive materials that must be manufactured, stored, and transported. The iron beam needs none of that. As long as it's powered, it can fire indefinitely. That means no reloading, no resupply convoys, and no risk of ammunition shortages during prolonged conflicts. It's the ultimate example of clean defense technology, no pollution, no explosions, and minimal collateral damage. This system doesn't just destroy, it neutralizes threats with surgical precision, leaving nothing behind but silence and safety. 
As Israel integrates the iron beam into its multi layered defense architecture alongside Iron Dome, David's sling, and arrow systems, the result is an almost impenetrable shield. Each layer covers different threat ranges, and now the iron beam fills the short range gap with unmatched speed and affordability. For the first time, Israel can defend against low cost attacks like drones and short range rockets without draining its budget or ammunition reserves. It's an elegant solution to an old problem and one that other nations are eager to replicate. Defense analysts predict that within a few years, similar systems will appear across Europe, Asia, and the United States, inspired by what Israel has achieved. The human story behind this technology is equally fascinating. For years, Israeli scientists and defense officials pushed for a laser-based interceptor. Even when the idea seemed far-fetched, they faced skepticism, funding issues, and countless technical barriers. High-energy lasers are notoriously difficult to stabilize. Even a small vibration or atmospheric distortion can disrupt accuracy. But after years of testing and refinement, Israel finally found the formula by combining advanced cooling systems, adaptive optics, and AI stabilization algorithms, the iron beam now maintains a perfect firing line, even in rough terrain or adverse weather. This triumph didn't happen overnight. It's the result of relentless experimentation and vision. During field trials, the iron beam's performance exceeded every expectation. Drones that once took seconds to track were vaporized almost instantly. Mortar shells disintegrated before they could descend. The system demonstrated near flawless accuracy and every success reinforced one simple truth. The future of defense lies not in more powerful explosives, but in smarter, cleaner energy weapons. In an age where threats are faster, smaller, and cheaper to produce traditional missile defense systems are becoming unsustainable. Israel has proven that light, something once used only for sight, can now protect entire nations beyond the battlefield. The iron beam represents a philosophical shift. It redefines deterrence. In the past, nations measured power by the size of their arsenals. Today, efficiency and intelligence are the new benchmarks. With a weapon like the Iron Beam, Israel sends a message not just of strength, but of innovation. It shows that the future belongs to those who can adapt technology faster than their enemies can prepare for it. This isn't about destruction. It's about control, about the ability to end a threat before it even begins. Cost analysis only deepens the impact. Traditional interceptor missiles can cost anywhere from 40,000 to 100,000 per launch. The Iron Beam, by contrast, fires for less than the price of a cup of coffee. Over time, that financial difference becomes a strategic advantage. Israel can afford to fire endlessly while opponents burn through resources. The weapon turns economics into a battlefield tool, making mass rocket attacks financially meaningless. That's the real genius of this technology. It doesn't just stop the enemy, it bankrupts their strategy. Of course, there are limitations. The iron beam's range is currently capped at around 10 kilometers and extreme weather conditions, fog, heavy rain, or sandstorms can reduce its effectiveness. But even with these challenges, the system's value is an undeniable. Israeli engineers are already working on stronger variants, pushing for higher wattage lasers that could extend range and overcome environmental interference. Each upgrade brings the dream of a laser-based shield closer to perfection. It's only a matter of time before cities, military bases, and even aircraft are equipped with similar systems forming invisible walls of protection across the globe. The implications go far beyond Israel's borders. Once this technology becomes scalable, it could redefine global defense economics. Imagine a world where nations defend their skies without stockpiling missiles, where civilian casualties are drastically reduced, and where precision replaces chaos. That's the world the Iron Beam hints at, a world where deterrence is silent, swift, and sustainable. Even rival nations acknowledge the breakthrough.
Some see it as a threat. Others see it as a challenge to innovate faster. Either way, the race for laser supremacy has begun and Israel fired the starting shot. Ultimately, the deployment of the Iron Beam is more than a military milestone. It's a turning point in human history. It bridges science fiction and reality, proving that the power of light, something we once used to guide ships and illuminate cities, can now shield entire populations. The system embodies decades of Israeli defense doctrine, innovate first, act fast, and never depend on outdated methods. Every successful interception sends a clear message to the world that technology, when guided by purpose, can make warfare cleaner, safer, and smarter. As the sun sets over the desert and the iron beam hums quietly on standby, one can't help but feel the weight of what's been achieved. The air is calm, but somewhere above an invisible guardian watches, ready to strike faster than any missile ever could. The age of explosive defense is fading, and the era of energy warfare has begun. Israel's laser defense system doesn't just protect borders. It symbolizes the dawn of a new warfare era where innovation, precision, and light itself redefine what it means to be secure.